talk to you about how to replace your rotten post and put a new pier under it if you have this situation on your deck. If you think this is going to be helpful though, start out by liking this video and then subscribe to our channel. If you do that, you'll get notified when we put out new videos and it gives you the opportunity to learn something uh, every time we put something out. Alright, so here's what we've got. We've got a rotten post here because all this dirt was piled up against the post and the dirt was rotting out the bottom of the wood. Uh, we can see as we dug down here that there's a concrete pier here, but it's just too low. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this off across here. Um, we're going to bring our pier up and we're going to have a new top to our pier so that it's above the ground level. You really don't want the wood post touching the ground, even if it's rated for, for direct bury, it's still going to rot it out eventually. This metal post base should be separating the concrete from the wood and the dirt should be below that. So stay tuned, we'll show you how to do it. Okay, for the last few minutes we got this jack and another 6x6 and took some pressure off of this. And I cut around here with a circular saw. I'm just finishing it out with the sawzall. So now I think I can probably just bust this out. It's so rotten that that won't be a problem. In a few minutes, we'll get this out of here and we'll show you how to drill this old concrete and, and prepare for your, for your new pour. Okay, we've drilled four holes in here and just cut some short pieces of rebar here. We're going to stick those in to the holes. Some of these are angled out a little bit, not a big deal, you can just bend it. Just like that. It's not a big deal. That'll help tie the, the new pier to the old. Now sometimes we encounter up here down below here that's not much good anymore. Maybe it's short to start with or maybe it was not poured well or small. Um, so lots of times we have to actually dig around here and break out the old pier. Then we put a whole new pier in all the way down. In this case we don't have that and if you have a good pier underneath you can do it the same as what we're doing. We just cut a small piece of this sonal tube and we're gonna slip it around here and as we pour we'll pour our concrete into there. It'll bond with those rebar and we're gonna pull this up as the concrete's wet and just trowel it off. Um, we're also going to install this post base. I'll show you how that works here in just a minute. What we do is we, we have our post base then I've got a bolt down the bottom that will just be sticking out of the bottom of the base and when we pour the concrete it'll form around this bolt and it'll keep the post from moving. Now we've also taken the time while we've got this loose to re-plumb this post. It was a little bit out. Maybe you have a deck that's leaning a little bit and you want to take the opportunity to straighten those posts. Now's a good time to do it. So we've got this plumb. We're ready to go. We're going to mix our concrete, pour it in. We'll show you how to finish it off. All right, so we're mixing here. Uh, this is a small batch of concrete. We've got concrete here for something else. This is part of another project. But I wanted to mention, I don't know if you can see this on the video or not, but this is, uh, this is a quick creek you buy at the store, but it's the high strength quick creek. Um, it's a lot different as far as how it's made. It's got a lot more cement in it. And the bags that you normally buy are pretty, it's a pretty weak mix. Not a good match for a pier. So the high strength concrete is what you really want here. Um, just mix that up to a, a nice consistency. It's not too runny. That looks a little dry. We'll add some water and uh, we'll shovel that in and, and show you how to wrap it up. All right, what I've done is just kind of jab this concrete as we go to make sure that there's no air bubbles in there, make sure it's all settled in nicely up under the post base. Also, I jacked up the jack about a quarter inch past where we want to be um, so that when this dries and we let the jack down, it'll end up resting right where we want it. So now I'm just going to take uh, this float and kind of trowel around the edges. Um, I need a little bit of spot where I have my stakes here, but uh, other than that, we're just about ready. We'll, we'll trowel this off smoothly and then peel this sauna tube off and just kind of 
trowel over the outside edge before it gets totally hard. Maybe you can squirt it with a little water if you've got a lot of exposed area. Um, and that's a little dry when you peel this off. Squirt a little water on there and just kind of trowel around it. It'll make it look nice. Um, but other than that, we're ready to go. We'll, we'll backfill this dirt uh, up to a good height when we're done. And now the, the post will be well protected from any water that's on the ground. All right, um, comment below. You know, if you guys have other situations where you want to discuss maybe another option or something that came up on your application, put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it and love to hear how this video helps you uh, just to, to help you make your house better and help your family enjoy your home a little bit more. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you on the next video.